as you work with universities, you also work with a lot of charitable organizations. That's and correct. you're helping them in their fundraising to recognize people that are giving money to them. Can you tell me about this? This, I believe, is the YMCA, is that right? Yes, yeah, it's a retirement fund, and it is a combination of bronze and crystal, which I love combining materials. And so thematically, this came off of a stamp that they had to commemorate the YMCA. And so we took that and interpreted it as a three-dimensional sculpt, and the rays were part of the back of the uh, stamp. They understood the value of doing something very special for the donors, as in so many cases as universities and charities, they, they go back to the same people so often. They do. And so you really want something that will capture them and make them interested in looking at it every day, they keep the organization on their mind, they talk to their friends about it, and their friends ask them about it. So it's a, a good feeling for all, whereas if it was just a bowl or vase, sitting on a shelf, someone out of their peripheral vision say, oh, you must have a bowl or vase. Right. But this will get someone's attention, they'll go over and say, my word, what is and this? And it's really heavy, this well, is beautiful. Lead crystal's heavy, <laughs> this is a very, very special black glass that in that thickness is very precious. And then, uh, obviously, bronze is bronze, so. That's gorgeous. Now, tell me about these two pieces. I know you have a lot more that you could talk about, but talk to me about these two. This is Susan G. Komen, and this is their logo That's right, right. here? That's right. We were asked to create some new items. As if you go on the website, you'll realize that there are a zillion items, that, and essentially they're painted pink. And we thought, yes. no, this organization needs something much more creative, much more vibrant. So I took the logo, uh, her uh, ribbon, and interwove it as a bracelet. Yes. Representing, it's called the team bracelet, because no one can recover from cancer without a okay. very supportive team. Right. And so taking her logo and interlocking it, it's pulling the team together. And so we've done them in, in silver and gold plate, and we hope sometime to do them in the actual medals, because they're every level of people surviving cancer as well as their team. Uh, I can imagine them presenting them to, to their team members. It's, oh, I can Very too. special things. And clearly you're putting a lot of thought and meaning into all of these that you create for the charitable group so that it means something to them as well as the person receiving it. Well, of course, because you, you want to keep that interest. You want the, the uh, charity uh, to be discussed, be thought of when you're not in contact with them. And I think the only way to do them is to give them unique, beautiful objects. And we want to see this on my desk, so when someone comes in, they see it, they want to contribute to that organization. That it definitely has a, an effect on anyone who sees it and thinks, jeepers, I could up my ante a little bit and have one too. Yeah, so. it's beautiful. Yep.